So Balenciaga got caught, right? They thought they could put together an ad that sexualized children. They thought they could sneak in some imagery that references to CP and get away with it. And internet sleuths found them out. And now they feel guilty and they're scrambling and trying to cover their tracks. Or Balenciaga was the victim of some malicious ad agency that was working with them to put together the pictures and they slipped in that reference to CP. And in the title for this video, it says that Balenciaga sues over BDSM bear pics or something like that, because that's what the headlines say. Balenciaga sues are suing. And I have the court documents to show you they are suing over the ads. It's not over the teddy bears though it's over the cp and i'm not saying the words and i didn't put it in the title because i'm trying to get by the youtube censors but what they sued over is not the teddy bears in bondage gear so let me tell you that i'll show you the court documents okay so i have the court documents on the balenciaga thing i made a few videos about it i just pointed out obviously the thing people saw at first was the kids holding the purses or handbags that look like teddy bears dressed in bondage gear. And then somebody looked at the pictures more closely, not of the kids with the teddy bears, but of adults and other adult things next to uh, documents, which the documents were from a Supreme court case involving CP. Okay. And if you don't know what that is, well, you, you know what that is. I don't need to explain it to you. So I will show you how the teddy bear campaign was developed. Okay. Like what it was a result of. And the photographer has the photographer who took the pictures of the kids with the bears uh, says it's not his fault. Okay. So I'll show you that first. First of all, because I pointed out this guy's Instagram when I made the video. And I don't want to cause people harassment or hate. Not that many people watch my videos, but still, I don't want uh, anybody to go out after these people, especially when they might be innocent. And the photographer says he is not guilty. This is his statement from Instagram. And then I'll show you where the photo series came from. So this is Gabrielle Gallimberti on Instagram who put out this statement, which says, as a photographer, I was only and solely requested to light the given scene and take the shots according to my signature style. As usual for a commercial shooting, the direction of the campaign and the choice of the objects displayed are not in the hands of the, the photographer. I suspect that any person prone to pedophilia searches on the web and has unfortunately a too easy access to images completely different than mine, absolutely explicit in their awful content. Accusations like these are addressed against wrong targets and distract from the real problem and criminals. Also, I have no connection with the photo where a Supreme Court document appears. That one was taken in another set by other people and was falsely associated with my photos. Okay, so that's from Gabrielle Gallimberti. And I'll say, well, I'll take him at his word. I'll show you um, this ad campaign, the pictures it was different sets of pictures. There was the kids with the stuff from the gift shop. That was one photo shoot. Then there were adults in an office situation with books. And I pointed out the artists that were featured in the books that they had. And then there were documents and the document with the reference to CP uh, is not part of this guy's photo shoot. This guy's photo shoot, just uh, he had a previous series of photos called Toy Stories. And this guy is like a National Geographic photographer, apparently. So he's a famous photographer. He already had been working on a series of photos of children and their toys called Toy Stories, where children posed like this with all their toys laid out in front of them. Okay, so that was, so that's one of the pictures and there's nothing 
creepy or weird. I mean, you people could read in to anything, but on the surface, there's nothing creepy or weird about a picture like that. Um, but what it turned into um, was this. I'll show you. So remember, that's from the series that he was taken on his own as a photographer, as an artist. He chose to take pictures of kids with all their toys in front of them. So then Balenciaga saw the style and said, hey, will you do one of your Toy Story photos with our kid, with you know, our stuff from our gift shop. So that's where he ended up with these photos of kids with the stuff that's available in the Balenciaga gift shop, which includes handbags that look like teddy bears and bondage. Okay. So somebody decided that that's one of the things in the gift shop. It's a gift shop campaign. They're gone based on this guy's series of photos where he has kids with all their toys. And so they took pictures of the kids with all the toys and the featured item. It's this BDSM bear, which it's not a mistake. Like the creative director of Balenciaga is kind of into BDSM themed stuff and dressed Kim Kardashian in like a hooded thing before. So it's not an accident that there is BDSM stuff associated with Balenciaga. They claim that it's an accident that they posed them with the kids and they profusely apologized for these photos. But they, so they apologized for these photos. They sued over the photo with the image of the court document. They're not suing over this because they're the ones that, decided the art direction for this. So there's no mistake for who's accountable. It seems like for these pictures haven't been taken. And that would be Balenciaga, the team at Balenciaga, whoever did the art direction for these photos, the photographer, I'll take Meta's word, just was taking pictures and it was up to the commercial director to decide exactly how everything was posed and so forth. So Balenciaga took these photos, knowing they took these photos, and they are sorry, they say. They're sorry. And they want you to hopefully forget about it. And they feel, and they feel uh, like because of the level of response that they've gotten from running these ads, that they better do something. And they sued the team responsible for the images with the child porn document. Oh, now I said the words. Well, well, well. Anyway, I said it briefly. They are words, and it's not even a correct thing. They should call it, you know, child abuse. Here is the court document, though. I'll show you that. Let me show you the court document right here, which is Balenciaga versus North Sixth Six Inc. and Nicholas Desjardins. And Nicholas Desjardins LLC. So North Six is apparently the company that helped put together the advertising campaign. The document says, this is filed in court, luxury fashion house Balenciaga brings this action against production company North Six Inc. and its agent set designer Nicholas Desjardins to seek redress for extensive damages defendants caused in connection with an advertising campaign Balenciaga hired them to produce. Upon information and belief, defendants, without Balenciaga's knowledge or authorization, included certain documents in the campaign photographs, including an excerpt from a court decision upholding a criminal prohibition against child pornography. Balenciaga believes that defendants' inexplicable acts and omissions were malevolent or, at the very least, extraordinarily reckless. As a result of defendants' misconduct, members of the public, including the news media, have falsely and horrifically associated Balenciaga with the repulsive and deeply disturbing subject of the court decision. Defendants are liable to Balenciaga for all harm resulting from this false accusation. And they are looking for $25 million plus, plus, plus court fees, lawyer fees, interest. And 
they're bringing it to the New York Supreme, New York State Supreme Court. So we're going to find out, you know, people are saying, you see the lawsuit, this is what they've said in court now, that they didn't know. People are saying, including people who have some experience with art direction and so forth, that it's not believable that Balenciaga didn't know that some person at Balenciaga, some person who analyzed the photos, edited the photos, chose which photos to, to uh, publish, that somebody signed off on sending out those pictures. And the picture, again, it's not the BDSM teddy bears that anybody's getting sued over. All they can do about that is apologize and hope that people forget about it. It's the CP thing that they think, okay, we're going to take action and now we'll find out. I mean, it's a court case. Um, if the defendants in this case, North Six, it's got Nicholas Desjardins, if they think that, if their defense is, well, no, Balenciaga knew about it, then that'll be their defense and then we'll find out about it. So that's the risk, I suppose, of Balenciaga actually filing something in court is that then it becomes official and there will be an official defense. And that's where Balenciaga could get exposed for, I don't know, whatever part they had to play in the whole thing. So, so that's the court document. Just wanted to give everybody an update since I made a few videos about it. Also, some people responded to the video about the books with the art. Okay. And that's art, including the artist, Michael Bormans has a book with what was described as like, it's like naked toddlers in disturbing situations. So some people replied to my video and said, oh, this guy's a famous artist and you're just reading too much into it. And this thing, this crew master cycle is some kind of art piece. And so I should say, yes, it is art, but some people find it just to be a little weird. You know, some people, some people think that uh, Marina Abramovich is an artist. And some people think that what she does is kind of satanic and not appropriate. So I don't know. I'm just saying I looked at the pictures. Some were kind of weird. And that's what was also featured in the photograph. But, you know, people can have different tastes in arts. And I, I appreciate that. And I appreciate people have a right to free speech. Certainly, as long as it doesn't show, you know, as long as it doesn't involve exploitation or um, harm, you know, especially to children, but also to adults. So anyway, that's the story. Wanted to give you guys an update. All of my videos are going to be demonetized by YouTube. I said the wrong words. So if you want to support the show, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash lift the veil. You can drop me a coffee and a note and I'll read it on my next live show. Or uh, we're still having a sale. You can get this t-shirt and most t-shirts on our site for 25% off by going to truthclothing.io at the links in the description and put in the coupon code thanks and you'll get 25% off everything except our partner tees. So through Cyber Monday, I have to give you the small print through Cyber Monday, everything except partner tees, coupon code thanks, truthclothing.io. All right, that's it. Thanks everybody. That's the update on Balenciaga and you know who's connected to Balenciaga, right? I mean, Kanye West was really good friends with their creative director and and Kim Kardashian, super tied into Balenciaga. They're way into celebrity fashion and stuff. So this isn't necessarily the end of the story. For now, that's what it is.